south now from Muskegon County to Van Buren County. It is a similar scene. The big waves are only adding to those bluff collapses that we've been seeing along the shoreline. News 8's Kyle Mitchell continues our team coverage tonight. He's live in South Haven with what experts say is making the problem so severe there. Kyle? Sue and Brian, I'm sure you can hear those powerful winds just howling out here at South Beach. And those rains we've had are making things even worse. The fury of Lake Michigan is pummeling the West Michigan shoreline. We see some major failures still going to happen. And today with the gale winds and everything else, we're going to see more failures. John Yelich is the director of the Michigan Geological Survey. What we have here are some samples. He and his team is studying bluff failures and is creating new detailed maps. We're trying to get more and more subsurface details so that people can have a better understanding what the subsurface geology is. His team is focusing their research on St. Joe, an area near Miami Park north of South Haven, and Pentwater, all areas dealing with erosion. The bluff failures now is a combination of two things. One is it's the type of glacial material that we have, and two is what have we been doing on the upper surface, on the top of the bluffs. He says building homes on the bluffs has made the problem worse. As soon as we put a house on something, we make an impervious surface, which means that the water has to go somewhere. And they're not directing the water where it needs to go, which is to get it away from the bluff face. And heavy rains only adds to the problem. And if we look at the bluffs that we have, they're made up of sand, clay, sand, clay. When the water comes down and hits that clay, it wants to go out and flow to the bluff. He says homeowners trying to fight back isn't going to work. By putting something down at the bluff face isn't going to help you. It helps you only momentarily, but everybody else on either side is going to be impacted because you just change the energy that comes onto the shore and force it to go to the neighbors next door on either side. Yelich says, unfortunately, the problem isn't going to get better anytime soon. Reporting live from South Haven, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.